Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So today we are going to learn the learning sheet 3 from Kalika Chetarika of class 9. So before wasting our time, let's quickly move on to the video. So before, no, before that, you know the drill to hit the subscribe button and if you like the video, please do like and share it also. Okay, so let's start with the video. So here you can see the question is given make proper fractions as shown in the model. Okay, so this is the model which is shown and according to that you have to meet the uh, proper fractions. So here you can see three boxes were present and out of which one is shaded. So it is written as one by three. One is shaded out of three. Okay, similar way here nine boxes were given. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine boxes were given and out of that three were shaded. So which will be equal to one by three itself. You can see three ones are three and three threes are nine. So you are going to get it as one by three means both will be equal. So similar way you have to make this also equal okay just they have given color 2 by 4 okay so you have to color this as well as this 2 out of this 4 and 3 out of 6 so here 3 6 boxes are there and you have to color out of 6 you have to color it 3 so 1 2 3 so up to this much box you have to color you can see here this line Okay, so this part is equal. Both the parts are equal. So they are asking, are they equal? Yes, obviously they are equal. Just I have shown you this line and this line meets. See, you can see this line and this line matches each other. So you can say this complete part is equal. Okay, so this two parts and this three parts are equal. Give reason for equal because you can see because equally half of the figure is colored. You can see this is the half line. Okay, this is not colored as well as this will be colored. So half of the figure is colored. So we can say that it is equal. Okay, in the next figure. In the figure, identify the equal fractions, write it in fractions, okay? So, they are asking us identify the equal fractions. So, we have to identify equal fractions here. Here, how many fractions are given? Just see one, how many boxes are given, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? So, 8 boxes are given. So, if we divide it into equal half, it will be 4 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, let us consider this complete line over here, okay? So, this will be half part and this will be half part. So, how many boxes are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, here we have written 4 out of 8 and here we can write 6 out of 12. You can see here 12 are given. So, if you make it proper half, it will be 6 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 boxes. And here if we make it proper half, it will be 4 boxes out of 8 box. So, we can write it here 4 out of 8 and here 6 out of 12. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. So, the next one is given addition and subtraction of fractions having equal denominators. So, you know what is numerator and what is denominator. The fraction will be written in the form of P by Q, isn't it? Okay, so this is the numerator and the below one will be the denominator. So, model they have given addition of equal fractions. So, equal fractions is added. Here you can see out of this four boxes one is colored so it is written one out of four okay and here it is written two out of four two of the uh, two of them are colored out of four so if we add it it will be one plus two will be three three out of four okay similar you can see the next one here okay the second one uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is given. Okay, so out of 5, how many is colored? 3 are colored and here 1 is colored out of 5. So, 3 out of 5 plus 1 by 5. Here 1 by 5. So, what will be the answer here? 5 will be as it is. The denominator will be as it is because it is same. The numerator you have to add. So, 3 plus 1 will be 4. See for the next diagram here. Here also equal partitions are given 1, 2, 3, 4 parts. Out of 4 parts, 1 part is colored. Okay. So, out of 4 parts, 1 is colored. Plus, here out of 4 parts, 3 parts are colored. So, 3 by 4. So, the it will be 4 by 4. If you try to cancel this 4 by 4, you are getting the answer to be as 1. Okay. 
Next, direct question they have given 1 by 7 plus 6 by 7. What is equal to dash? Okay. So, 7 will be as it is. It will be as it is. 1 plus 6 is nothing but 7. So, again, if you try to cancel 7 ones are 7 and 7 ones are 7, you are going to get answer to be as 1. Next, 1 by 12 plus 13 by 12 is given. So, if you add this, it will be 14 by 12. So, if you cancel this, 2 7s are 14 and 2 6s are 12. So, you are going to get the answer as 7 by 6. Okay. Next one. Here 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Out of 4, 3 are colored. So, it is 3 by 4. Minus is given and out of 4, 2 are colored. So, this is 2 by 4. Okay. So, what will be the answer is equal to. They have given us the answer in the uh, diagram form only so 1 by 4 will be remaining okay so obviously you can see 3 minus 2 will be 1 and divided by this 4 will be as it is 1 by 4 okay so they have shown us already into the diagram format draw the fraction draw the figure of fraction as directed so next we have to do as they have directed okay so till now you were seeing that it will be uh, the fractions were in proper form. It means the numerator was smaller and the denominator was the larger number. But here into the question you may see the numerator is the larger number and denominator is the lesser number. So how can you draw it? So for this situations what you can draw is you have to make three parts. Okay, you have to make whatever diagram you are making you have to make it into three partitions. Okay. And you can just see this is named as 1, 2, 3. Okay, out of one diagram, we have done three parts. How many we want? We need five parts. Okay, so one more circle we will take and we will divide it into three parts. And out of that, we will take only two parts. Similarly, I can show you uh, some more thing. If you are having a rectangle, it should be divided into three parts. So that this is one part, this is second part, this is three parts. Similarly, one more rectangle should be there which is of equal three parts only. Okay. Then we have to consider this part as fourth one and this part as fifth one. We have to leave this part. Okay. So this is five by three. Okay. Five by three. If it was three by five, what we have to do? We have to in the circle only we have to make five parts. Out of which 3 will be colored. Okay. But as this fraction is in improper way, we have to make it like this. The denominator, whatever is there, we have to divide that particular figure into that many parts. Okay. And how many we want here? 5 we want here. So, how many such circles we need? We need 2 circles. Because in the 2 circles, we will get six uh, parts right so we need only five parts so the other the left part we have to leave we have to consider only the five parts plus here also you can see two by three so two parts out of third one okay two parts out of three parts so we have to add all this so what will be the addition one two three four five six and seven Okay, so this also we have to show in the format. You can see we have to draw the figure and show this 7 by 3. So, how we will show just see 1, 2, 3, okay, 4, 5, 6 and 7. One part out of this. This is not considered again. Only this much part is considered. Okay, only this part will be considered. So, this is how you can represent. I hope this is clear. We will move on to the next one. Okay, so you can see the next question as addition and subtraction of unequal fractions are given. Okay, so here addition is given, subtraction is given and many more are given. So let us see one by one. So the operations are given here. Okay, and you have to write the reason for each of the step here. So this is the question 3 by 5 plus 2 by 15 is given and this is the step 1, step 2 and step 3. Okay. So, step 1 is given as 3 by 5 into 15 by 15. So, plus 2 by 15 into 5 by 5. So, what is given here is actually for this number you can see the denominator. The, this denominator is multiplied to the numerator and denominator. Okay. And to this number the this, new, this denominator is multiplied. Okay. That is 5 by 5. So, you can write 3 by 5 is multiplied by 15 and 2 by 15 is multiplied by 
five. Okay. In the second step, what they have given? They have just multiplied three by fifteen, three into fifteen, and five into fifteen. Totally, we are getting forty-five by seventy-five plus two fives are ten, and fifteen fives are seventy-five. Multiplication of numbers. Okay. Then in the third step, you have to add both the numbers, and you will get addition of the numbers. After addition of numbers, you will get the final answer that is fifty-five by seventy-five. Okay. Next, coming to the subtraction part here, the same thing is done here also. Four by five. This number is written as it is, and it is multiplied by the denominator of the next number that is three. Okay. So actually, this is wrong here. This step is given uh, wrong. So it should be like this: four by five into three by three. Okay. It should be multiplied with. Three by three, three into three by three, okay, and minus two by three, which is given, it should be multiplied by five by five, okay. So this is the same. The steps what you are going to write will be same. That is, instead of three by five is multiplied by fifteen, you are going to write four by five is multiplied by three, and two by three is multiplied by five. Okay, then in the next step, multiplication takes place. Four threes are twelve, and five threes are fifteen. Minus two fives are ten, and three fives are fifteen. Okay, the multiplication is taking place. Okay, then, then, then you are going to subtract this. Twelve minus ten is nothing but two, and fifteen will remain as it is. Okay, so this is the answer. Next, you can see multiplication is given. So this is two by three into twelve by seven. Okay, so here direct multiplication is done. Two into twelve. Okay, here you can see two into twelve. Multi divided by three seven three into seven. Okay, twelve two za it is twenty four and three seven za twenty one. So in the step one, what they have done is multiplication to the to get the final answer. What? Okay, they are multiplying here to get the final answer. Okay, then in the step two, what they have done is final answer. What it is coming? It is divided by the single table three. So. It is divided by three to get a simplified answer. Okay, so you can see twenty four by twenty one is given, which can come into three ones are table. So three eights are twenty four and three sevens are twenty one. So you are getting the answer as eight by seven. Okay, so the last one here is given as division. Okay, so the the uh so it is given as three by seven divided by two by three. So if you remove this division sign, then you will directly get the multiplication sign, which will be into three by two. If you get multiplication sign, this number will be reversed. So instead of two by three, it will become three by two. Okay, so directly after multiply three threes are nine and seven twos are fourteen. So you can see the steps. What is written here? Division of division sign is changed to multiplication sign by reversing the number. So if you reverse this number, then obviously the division sign is changed into the multiplication. Okay, then directly after multiply the numbers three threes are nine and seven twos are fourteen. You will get the answer. Okay.